So here we have the T7, the Rider Guider Tenere 700. As you can see, we have installed today the Scorpion slip on, the Camel Adventure Enduro Bend connector, which goes down to the Akrapovic header. We've gone for a full system, saving six kilograms of weight off the bike. This header is beautiful. It actually weighed that little. I had to fasten it to the bike to stop it floating away. Beautiful, beautiful thing. This Camel ADV Adventure Enduro Bend is a work of art. Uh, moving along up and across, you will see this very high quality piece of Scorpion Red Power can. I love the red trim on that. Going underneath the seat, you can see there the fitting kit. Rather splendid. It's beautifully put together by Camel Adventure. Suits the can just down to the T. That's the uh, the sensor wire that goes into the header. Just a bit tighter. I'm not sure than standard the reach into the header. So I'm not sure if it's just tight. Maybe that uh, sensor, the screw in threads are maybe half an inch in distance away than what was on the standard one. But uh, we've got it in. Here we've got a little bit of a, a draft. Just ever so slightly on the throttle. Just when you blip it, you can just feel a whisper of air. So we're going to have a refit on that later today before we take it for a spin. And uh, we'll do uh, a bit of cement on there, exhaust cement. But as you can see, it looks absolutely phenomenal. So on, on takeover, she doesn't sound too bad, does she? Nice and, uh, you know, she's not offensive. It's got a nice bark though. Yeah, <laughs> sounds very fit. So that sounds rather fit, doesn't it? So what we're going to do now is take it for a bit of a spin today and we'll have a chat about how it feels and how it sounds on the road as well in relation to that. Of course, it's all about the weight loss for me, but uh, the added benefit of an extra three or four horsepower and six kilogram saving from the standard exhaust system. Uh, it's all going to work out quite nicely, I think. Live, lively as again. It's just back to what it should have been when I first bought it. I feel like I can steer it, I can boss it about. The power's controllable, it's very instant but not snappy. And I'm sure that could be improved again, even more so. Ooh, I thought I was a snake and it was a stick. One of those stick snakes. So why do a full system? Well, I'll tell you why. The header, as far as weight loss, is the daddy. That's the one that's gonna lose the most weight. The can, I reckon I've lost two kilos. The header has saved me four. So I've got a total of six kilos I've saved. But the header itself, the Akrapovic header, four kilo loss. That's quite significant. It's only 2% of the bike, pretty much, but I'm adding it all up now. So let's have a look. We've got 15 kilos, which I've lost, including having taken off the side stand, sorry, the centre stand, changed up the bash plate, battery, lithium iron now, 
exhaust system at about 14 or 15 kilos. Now, that's about 7% ish, give it a tip. If I weighed 100 kilos and I lost 7% of my weight, I'd start to feel a bit more lively. And that's what I'm trying to get, is get the bike feeling more lively again. It banged on a load of weight and I still love the bike, don't get me wrong, I absolutely adore this bike. I adored it when it was 230 or whatever it was. I adore it now, might be pushing 210. It's back to what it should be when it's, when it's fully oiled up, fueled up, feeling lively. But at the same time, if I put on 10 kilos, I'm sure that Chantal would love me just as much. You'd hope. I hope. But would I excite her as much if I didn't have a six pack? And that's the thing, I want to feel excitement. I want this bike to be sporty, I want it to be alive and feel lively and it's back now to feeling lively. I've shed some weight, I've not finished with the weight loss. But I'll get something else in due course. And the next major thing will be wheels. And that's what I'm looking forward to, is the wheels. That will be awesome. Um, I'm probably going to get some made, we'll go tubeless. Maybe that inertia will be improved. And uh, happy days. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed that little upload. We'll see you on the next one. Maybe that's going to be the wheels that we do on the T7. That'll be a really interesting one. And uh, that's not going to be cheap either. Not that that was. By the by. Thanks for watching everybody. See you on the next one.